Welcome guys. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Now I know I've done a lot of vanilla stuff and this is basically vanilla, but it is a pre-built map that it's kind of an adventure map. So this is made by Red Nomster. He's adorable. He's a derp. Derp. Um, but yeah. So it's actually, uh, you can do it single player or two, uh, player, and I'm pretty sure it is called Phobia, um, but I think I might change the name because I'm going to play it as an apocalypse map, so yeah. It's going to be kind of like a walking dead kind of type thing, so yeah. But, um, before we start that, the link will be in the description below to this map. I am really excited to play this, but other than that, let's get into this. So... One person per room, important. Okay, so we're gonna go into here. Oh, I forgot that I turned down my volume. Oh, done. Music. I did that because the Minecraft music was a little bit too loud for me. But, oh, and it's raining. Hold on. I'm sorry. That sounds okay. And yeah, so here we go. So this is important book important book so we're gonna read this real quick okay phobia phobias apocalypse survival by red at nomster q and i am what is phobia phobia is abandoned surround abandoned city surrounded by normal 1.8 minecraft generated meaning you can leave the city at any time there are no barrier block blockades and there are no limits will be there be quests no is there this is this a zombie apocalypse map map and that explains the whole um you can flip the, flip the level to make it so it's just zombies. Um, so just stuff like that. I base, I read this. So if you uh, actually want to read to the book, download the map. Um, but I already read it through. So we're going to start this out. And um, in order to flip this. Oh, 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 I just broke it. I forgot. <laughs> That's funny. I w I'm pretty sure I wasn't in game mode the last time I was here. Okay, so we're gonna actually like get rid of that. I didn't even realize I was in game mode. So slash game mode is it zero? Yeah, it is. And we're gonna be okay. So I'm pretty sure I got rid of that. Okay, so we're gonna start it off with being a student. So I look like I just got killed. Um, so yeah, I guess here we start it off. I guess there is a little bit of storyline and it looks like I'm starting off in a classroom because I decided to be a student. So I guess here we do. Did that say stupid uniform? So stupid uniform, science. So these are, looks like all my books. I don't, paper, just random paper, glass bottle. Vanilla Realm Survival Guide. Thirst. You start with water bottle. Drink any potion will replenish thirst. By picking up any source of water using the bottle is easiest. You have multiple bottles. Thirst Part 2. Strength potions are now alcohol. Drinking. Alcohol increases your cold status. It also makes you drunk. Love. Water breathing potions are now energy drinks and give you absorption. Hypothermia, walking on snow layers, swimming, being hit by the raindrops, and alcohol makes you cold. Over time, hypothermia is displayed as water wither effect. Dehydration is displayed as the potion effect. Realistic fire pits. Create a fire kit by throwing a stick on the ground near you. With the fire kit, with coal, charcoal, and average block is provided light warmth. Only way to prevent hypothermia and place to cook. So what do I do? Create a fire kit by throwing a stick on the ground near you. Light the fire with coal and charcoal. Okay. Realistic fire pit part two. Cooking. You may cook just about every cookable food by simply throwing it on your fire pit. And wait about 10 seconds. You may cook multiple foods at once. Only have one fire pit in your world at once. Do not un unrender your fire. Underrending your fire breaks the fire fire pit module because I sucked at co co 
command blocks, pack up and break your fire pit before leaving the camp slash making a new fire pit. To disable your punch, your fire, punch it to death quickly. One out of three chances of receiving zombie tracking. What is it? One out of three chance of receiving. Okay, zombie tracking. I've changed the tracking distance of zombies to seven. But when you're running in into a zombie, every zombie in area gains a tracking distance of 30. This creates hoarding and also allows you to sneak around zombies. Zombie tracker part two. To escape a horde or zombies, you have ha, you must be total distance of 30 blocks from all zombies. Happy sneaking. Realistic injures, inju injury. Sorry, that's a lot of reading. Once you research research two two and a half hearts, you will move more slowly. To prevent this, don't go under two and a half hearts, noob. Um, I don't even know how to say that. Maleficent notes: Fire tr tick is on, meaning stuff burns. Try not to light your fire pit near a burnable structure. Also, keep it to three thick floor to place your fire pit, or unless lava might flow through the cells of the floor below you. Music notes part two. News or however you say it. Rain will only make you cold. If you are physically being touched by raindrops, simply evade the rain to not get wet and use cars to your advantage in when crossing the street. One last thing. This is important. Vanilla rounds work with a zero HUD display. Your conscious will tell you everything you need to know and display and chat green text equals good yellow text equals warning red text e equals you're gonna die suck sucks it's okay um if playing two player that's it enjoy your survival experience but not very okay. so i guess let's do this so I guess I can run around. I don't even know what I'm doing. I think what I'm gonna try to do is explore a little bit for at least the time being. And I don't even know why that did that. Okay. This is not gonna be like any normal severe survival series. Okay, any water? Nope. Oh, it's so dark. It's not raining right now. Whoa. Oh, I hear him. I hear the zombies. I guess I can punch him to death, but I don't really have a one bait. Can I, like... How much do I... Oh. It said you could break blocks, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm gonna use this to my advantage, and I'm gonna allow it to happen, because I'm gonna need a sword at some point. And I'm just gonna, like, break... Break parts of the, the um, map. Which I'm okay with this. You guys probably can't see very well, so I do apologize. Um, but once I get to a lighter area, I will definitely do all that from jails. So we're just going to throw that there. Now, it would be better if I had, like, wood. But I just want to make sure, just in case I run into anything, I um, will be able to survive it. Just have a sword. And I know I need water at some point, so I don't know if that's going to tell me when I need water or not. But yeah. Here we go, I guess. Bam. And bam. At some point I'll get more stuff, but right now I'm just going to stick with the very basics of this. All oh, this is really hard to see. I can see, but you guys can't see. I thought I turned off creepers. I thought I turned off those. I have alerted the zombies. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure I turned off that, but that is okay. I feel like I'm going to drop, and that's just not going to be good. Hmm. I'm debating what I can do right now. Just a chest. Oh, 
Oh, they don't break blocks, thank God. Okay, I think I'm good. My goal right now is to get out of the school building. Okay. Now, I'm not too afraid of these creepers anymore. I thought I turned it off, but I think because I screwed up the um, leather, that might have screwed up the map, and the fact that I can't play the zombie apocalypse way, but that's okay. Oh my god, I'm lagging. It's okay. That is O A O K. I just want to get out of this school. Um, Enderman. Still like at the very top. Does this take me anywhere? Probably not. Um, are there more? St oh, I gotta stop hitting that button. I guess I have zombie flesh. Probably the worst idea I could do. 22. Ugh, this is gonna be a struggle. Cause I don't even know where I'm gonna get food. Guys, I just wanna get out of here. That's literally all I wanna do cause it's so dark keep to you guys. I don't know maybe if my settings Settings were, um, changed. That's a spider. I probably could have just kept running down the stairs, but you know, I'm a derp, so. I can't find, like, water to save my life right now. I literally just want to get out of here. I don't care if I have to. Yes. Up. Oh, I just said yes, and I thought this was water. I was like, yes, this school building rocks. Oh my god. The thunder is absolutely obnoxious. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, run up the stairs. Run up the stairs. Run up the stairs. What is this? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, done. Done. Shoes. Ah. Uh. No, 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 no. I literally just need to get out of this school and I'll be fine. He taps me once, I'm dead. I literally have no food. I literally just need food or something. Water, I see it. Chicken. Chicken, please. Uh, I literally cannot sprint to save my life right now. I just didn't want to get shot by those arrows, but it looks like the sun's coming up just a little bit.
I'm a little upset that I kind of broke it, so it um, just is um, zombies, but I'm okay with this. Okay with this. As long as the creepers don't destroy anything, I really like this map and I really don't want it to get just too much destroyed. Okay, those pigs. That pig will be very helpful. I'm like the slowest. No, 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 no. He's literally right where I need him. Senpai, please. I just need you in my life. You are literally the greatest pig right now. Where did you go? Senpai pig, please. I just need your food. You're not getting away from me. I just need your food, pig. It's all... Oh my god. This is literally... The best thing ever. Well, there's a sheep over there, and if it's 1.8... Sheep, please. What is that? It's a chicken. I'm struggling over here. I have literally one heart. I don't know what the book said about having one and a half hearts. If we can get to like a normal house or something then I think I will be able to at least survive this. But because... Ugh, I finally got out of that stupid school. But now I'm stuck in the road of... I don't even know what to eat. I'm kind of glad this is in the Sahara. I found seeds. I'm hoping this, that's a house. That would make my day if that's like an actual house. Because I'm hoping there might be food in there. But who knows? I don't even know if this is how that map works. <gasps> Bread. Trickle. Oh my god, please. Sword. Charcoal. Go to the next house, see if they have any food. If I can find like a store or something, that would be bay. Iron chest plate. Better than this stupid uniform. Okay, come on. I just need to find, like, a store or something. And I can do this. I believe in myself. I believe. I believe. I don't believe in myself. I believed, and now I don't believe. I'm just looking for somewhere just to get some food. 
I just need some food. I guess holding the uh, sprint button isn't going to help. Oh. Uh. Guess not. But if. Oh, is that. Why is that showing as a crafting? Ah, oh, it's a dispenser. It's a dispenser. Why is this like that? That is a shower, but there might be something in the dropper. I don't know, guys. I'm struggling over here. There's a car. Oh, but it looked like there's a chest in that car. Nope, but there's no blocks. I literally just need to get a little bit more health up, and I think I might be able to survive this. And then it might be on to mining things up and getting dispensers and things going to shoot arrows so I can build, like, a fortress. Because I'm going to treat this like it's, like, a zombie apocalypse. And I'm going to treat, like, the creepers. Shit. Creepers and such, like... They are... Zombies. That was a spider, I could hear it. Where is it? All I can hear. Okay, yes. Yes. This is this. Actually, I'd like to live out there. TV. Where is, like... I guess I should have started a bit going upstairs. You can hear that thing. Nope. Sounds like it's out there. Come on. Please. Oh, nothing. Nothing of use right now. I literally just need a little bit more hunger. And that one house I had to skip. I'm I'm a little I'm a little I'm not a happy what does that say? Need Need Nom Nom? Is this, if this oh my god, I will love this if this is what I'm hoping it is. I'm afraid eating raw chicken is gonna make give me poison. Nom nom sounds like food. I really do need food. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Watermelon. Oh my god, yes. Literally a lifesaver right here. We're literally collecting all of this. Watermelon is my new savior. Charcoal, arrows. Sell some more watermelon. This watermelon is literally bay right now. I can literally move like a normal person. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I think I'm going to finish doing this. And then I'm going to end off this uh, video for today. Um, this is going to be a new series that I'm going to start. Um, it's a little awkward starting it now because I do have DC coming up this week, so I won't be able to stay too much intact with it, but I will try my best. But um, next video, I think we're going to go more through this shop and uh, see what else we can find. Oh my, I literally just scared the crap out of myself when I saw that. Um, we're gonna hide in here um, for the remainder of this but I hope you guys did enjoy watching this and um, yeah I guess see you guys next time goodbye I'm sorry I forgot to hit